Hello guys, welcome to Ask Regulon. Today we're going to see quickly um, a difference between uh, Camtasia and Pinnacle Studio. And uh, it's not an in-depth comparison. It's just going to be um, uh, my my view of um, you know how they weigh against each other. So just quickly running through, uh, this is uh, Pinnacle Studio and this is Camtasia. Uh, so I have both the software. So um, so w what is the purpose of me having both of these softwares is like Pinnacle. I had it a um, few years ago and it's 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 cheapest of the block and you also get a perpetual license. So that's one way Pinnacle weighs high, uh, ahead of uh, is, is way ahead of other softwares. The other softwares you you have to commit to every year that you have to start paying sort of like a subscription fee. Uh, whereas with uh, Pinnacle pretty much you stay you can stay with the current version as long as you like it and uh, it, it does all the things uh, that you want to achieve and um, so if you compare it against a Premiere Pro and uh, other other video editing softwares so they're not going to be uh, Pinnacle is not going to be as good as them but it does a lot of those things so now quickly um, getting into Pinnacle Studio interfaces you you go here and you create a new project and um, so the view of this software is similar to what you have for uh, Camtasia as well. So you get to see the, uh, let me maximize this one. Uh, so that's a navigation panel that you see here where we have all the effects and uh, all the assets that you can add it to your um, project. And then uh, that's actually the browser. And then you see a preview window here and then import export options. And then this is all your uh, AV tracks. And this is all the controls that goes for the AV tracks and then your timeline and uh, some of the other controls that goes up here as well. So the navigation, you can drag and drop a lot of effects like transitions and things like that. So this is all pretty easy and nice. Uh, whereas with Camtasia, um, so you go and create a new project and you get a blank project here. So the navigation is right up here. It's similar to Pinnacle. So nothing too much of a difference here. And uh, from here, you can add a lot of these things into your uh, project timeline. So this is the AV tracks and that's your preview panel. And uh, so you can detach your uh, preview panel as well on the Camtasia version. And once you're done with that, um, you can select a portion of it or the whole video and then you can export it to a local file or a YouTube or any of those sources. The same way here, you can export it and then um, you can export it into a particular um, uh, format and things like that. So this also gives you a whole bunch of options here as well. Um, so to my view, um, I find um, Camtasia to be more friendly uh, because I do a lot of these videos where uh, sometimes it takes uh, footages from uh, multi multiple cameras and don't get me wrong so you can actually have multiple cameras within um, uh, within this one as well so it has got the multi cam options here uh, I think you have to purchase it but it's not too expensive in um, in Pinnacle uh, but you can attach cameras to this um, to this footage and you can have those ones as well so no big deal on that and uh, with Camtasia these things are pretty easy another thing which I find with uh, Pinnacle is if you have more than two screens uh, if you have three or four screens or more uh, the recorder the screen recorder will not work work on um, on Pinnacle Studio so with the Camtasia it works irrespective of how many how many um, uh, screens that you connected to your graphic card or to your machine I mean all right so that's one of the things and then um, so some of the cool features is this comes with a lot of libraries this also comes with a lot of libraries I think uh, Camtasia has a bit more modern library and uh, the animation transition effects and things like that uh, transition wise I like to apply I, I like the way uh, this one works in terms of transition where you can fold it and this is like pretty quick and easy uh, whereas Camtasia has got those features as well uh, but it's not as friendly on this kind of things as well uh, on this one uh, apart from that um, the video rendering time uh, I think both seem to take the same amount of time so not much of a difference there and both of them uploaded directly to YouTube and it gives you the same form as what you do it on YouTube and you know it uploads it directly as well and both has got voiceover feature so which is which is kind of nice and one thing which um, uh, this one do is uh, we can separate it out the audio tracks uh, compared to the video tracks and you can trim it a lot of those video editing a lot of those features they both does this sort of uh, same so this one comes around uh, $400 I think uh, for a year and then this one is uh, I bought it around $79 uh, for perpetual license which is sort of 
a really really a bigger difference and um, so if you're using basic editing I would suggest go with um, Pinnacle and um, if you if you want to do a lot of videos and things like that then Camtasia is good Camtasia is good if you're doing educational videos screen recording and if you want to combine with multiple cameras and a lot of those things Camtasia is best um, so but again the cost factor you need to consider as well to see which is um, which is suitable for you all right thanks for watching guys and if you have any questions uh, just put it forth and i'm happy to answer thanks guys